Right, so you join us here on the Fusion Stand. Something you may not have thought about for your boat, both fishing and pleasure, is having some tunes whilst you're out on the water. We spent the morning with the Suzuki guys on their boat and they had a Fusion sound system which completely blew me away. So we've come to the stand, we're gonna go meet Charlotte and she's gonna tell us a little bit more about the systems. Right, so like I said, we're on the Fusion Stand. Um, this is Charlotte from Fusion. She's gonna talk us through a few of the kind of key features of the Fusion systems and why you might want to have a Fusion system on your boat. So thanks for having us, Charlotte. No worries. Tell us a little bit more. So there's quite a lot of depth between the Fusion products, but what we're trying to concentrate now on is premium audio systems and the delivery of them. So customers um, previously may have picked up a stereo and a random pair of speakers and paired them together. What we're trying to make happen is we're trying to make the ease of use um, even easier. So cool. amplifiers in, in previous times have had like tuning knobs on them, um, which means that the end customer has left their own devices to make their own decisions about what sounds great and what yeah. doesn't sound so great. Um, and sometimes you end up with a bit of a risk of speakers going wrong with that happening. So what we've done is we've introduced the Apollo amplifier um, the Apollo amplifier has um, tuning which is carried out through the app through a digital signal processing yeah. um, setup. So it means that the head unit knows what components it has connected to it and will then put out the amount of output that it needs to to make sure the speakers perform their best capability. Cool. Um, several head units, so the uh, basic setup of Fusion is so you have separate zones. Um, our zones are volume control, so you can turn them up and down in different areas of your boat. Cool. And then what we did um, a couple of years ago is we also then introduced the usability of being able to connect several head units together. Yeah. So depending on what your boat is, it's really versatile. You can either go with something which is a really basic din size, yeah. which will fill something like um, one of your car stereos that maybe is on some of the older boats. Yeah. Um, or you can have something like when you get to bigger um, uh, super yachts where you can, or, or, or um, bigger sports yachts where you can actually then start to put together multiple systems. So if for instance, you know, stereotypical maybe, but if for instance you're inside watching sport yep. um, and you're listening to that through your fusion speakers and I've decided that actually I want to go outside for a glass of wine and I don't want to continue listening to what it is that you're listening to, um, I can have my own stereo set up. Cool. So that, that's really nice for that separate listening environment. Yep. But then what you can also do is pair the two together. So when you've got your friends and family come over, you can then have the whole boat party bust as we call it together to, to present the whole system. Love it. Um, speaker wise, um, again, the, the, the range has really grown um, and we've got entry level speakers. So some entry level speakers down here, yep. uh, mid range and our higher end signature series. And again, that'll be a lot of that's about price point for customers. So we have everything from the lower entry level to the, to the upper end. Um, but ultimately, yeah, we, we cater for every customer that's out there. Amazing. Um, the amplifier helps because speakers have got a lot more capability than what um, head units have. Yep. So um, I always recommend if you're doing a system to always have an amplifier, but then I'm, a, I'm an audio person, so why would I not recommend yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, Right, so as you can see here, we've got this uh, kind of setup with a Garmin chart plotter. I've heard that you can link these up to kind of multiple chart plotters. Is that the case? Yeah, so we were taken over by Garmin in 2014. Um, the integration is really easy with the chart plotter. So cool. it means that you can wire it up via NMEA, yep. um, the NEMA. Um, you also have the opportunity now with some of the more modern stereo systems to be able to hook that up via Ethernet as well. Cool. So depending on what you've got will depend on how you actually do that setup. Yep. Um, what it means is you've then got full control of your volumes across all of your zones. So you might have one, two, three, four zones, depending on how big the boat is. Um, and you can um, you can then decide how you want to do those volumes. So you can turn one up, and you can turn one down, and you can turn one up and turn one down. So you've got full versatility. Yeah. Um, you've also got your sources here, so you can change how you're listening to your music. God, if you've cool. got multiple stereo systems, this will show up with multiple stereo systems, which means that, again, going back to our conversation, um, you will be able to then shut my music down if you really don't like it. So it's quite, it's quite a nice versatile yeah, yeah. tool. Very, um, very cool. But it's also, it's very useful. Um, there is a way, um, I'll let the Garmin guys um, explain this to you guys if you want to have a look at it. But there is a way that you can also um, set up a favorites bar on these chart plotters so you can control your music as you're going along and also keeping a track of where you're going. Wicked. Um, so yeah, so versatile are great. We've also got a stereo system that works with this that you don't need to have an actual physical sta standalone stereo system. Right, okay. So you can you can use something like a white box, which is WB670. Right. Um, you can hide that in the guts of the boat. Yep. And then you can control that independently from the chart plotter. That's cool. We've also got an app, which is Fusion Link, 
Right. So Fusion Link will mimic what the stereo system does as a, as a physical stereo system. So you can go into there and again, you can change your volume controls, you can do your settings menu, you can change your source. So you can walk around the boat and have that versatility on your telephone. And the other really neat thing that we've brought out in the last couple of years is um, an ARX70 remote control. Now this is actually wireless. So this is one of my favorite products because it's very easy to use. You don't have to worry about getting an, an installer to be able to set that up. Yep. Um, it's got a CR2032 battery in the back, which is replaceable. Yep. Um, and um, you, you shouldn't take it off and really carry it around because the likelihood is it's going to go over, over the, over, over the yeah, boat. Exactly. At some point, yeah, you're yeah. going to lose it and you're going to buy multiples of these. But um, it just clips onto here. So you can, you can position cool. those anywhere on the boat that you want to position them. Yep. Um, the, 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 the latest version of the Fusion system, you're also able to um, link those up over the Wi-Fi. So if you've, this has its own independent Wi-Fi. Right, okay. So you can take your phone out, you can connect to this independently with the Wi-Fi that's set up in here and you can stream your music. Oh, wow. So when I was talking earlier about the um, connectivity yeah. through all the systems and the integration, with the 770, it's kind of about what you're putting into that, that, that system in the first place. Because if you're playing, um, a really bad sounding piece of music, um, it's not going to transfer to the amplifier or to the speakers the way you really want it to. So yep. if you can Apple Airplay now as an example, then that's a really good system to be able to send that music initially. Amazing. Yeah. They are really smart systems. I think things like the touchscreen interface on these and the ability to to use, yeah, I mean, they are super, super sleek. And I really like the idea you don't have to have this, you can just have a screen. My boat, for example, is not that big. I probably don't have space for one of these, but I could link it up with a chart plotter. We've, um, it's the one thing with Fusion that you'll find. Usability is our, our big key driver, is to make sure that any customer can get on and you can just pick up either off the chart plotter or off the stereo system, yeah. um, and you can turn those volume levels up and down. You can skip, pause, repeat. It's why all of our units, we've kept a tuner knob. Yeah. Um, because Pete, this is actually touch screen. Um, but people still like this usability of if, if there's something going wrong on the boat and you want to just have that quick touch of, I want to turn this music down, you've still got that yeah, usage. Yeah. So um, the usability is a really big thing for us and we want to make sure that customers find it easy. We don't want to make anything more difficult on the boat when you've already got a thousand a scenarios going on in front yeah, of you. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Awesome, Fusion. awesome. Thank you very much. Well, there you go. That's a kind of brief overview on the Fusion systems. Definitely something to look at uh, for your boat. Like I said, fishing boat, pleasure boat, whatever it is, there is definitely space for a Fusion. Um, so check it out at Marine Power um, whenever you can.